Welcome back to the Dragonet 282 Eglinton Avenue West in Toronto, Ontario. Today, as promised, we're taking a look at the Magic Flight Launch Box, one of the smallest, most portable vaporizers on the market today. The company says they're on version 63.7, so it's quite obvious that they've put a lot of thought and effort into creating a very efficient miniature vaporizer. The vaporizers are available in maple, walnut or cherry uh, selections and they come with uh, options to get an etched window in there that adds a bit of a different look to your vaporizer to stand out from all of the other Magic Flight Launchbox owners. There's quite a few of them. The Magic Flight Launchbox is super easy to operate. Essentially the idea behind it is when you push the battery in it creates an electrical current which heats the screen up to appropriate temperatures within about four seconds. So by placing about a quarter gram to a half gram of finely ground plant material on the screen and pushing the battery in for four seconds, you are now ready to inhale vapor, vapor off the included three inch straw uh, that comes with the box here. However, if you're someone like me who uh, finds that holding the unit up in your face is a little bit too uh, intrusive, it comes with, or you have the option of getting a one foot flexible hose whip with this. What this does is it replaces the glass one so you're able to hold the vaporizer closer to your chest and still enjoy the vapor. If you're somebody who finds that the vapor is sometimes a little bit too warm and too dry for your throat, the team over at Magic Plate Launchbox came up with this awesome idea right here. This is a 14 millimeter joint with a maple connection to a one, one and a half foot whip. The idea with this is that you take your connection and you plug it into the Magic Flight launch box. Now with the 14 millimeter joint, you're ready to insert that into any 14 millimeter downstem for a bong, and you can vaporize and take your hit through a bong, cooling the smoke down just a little bit more to make it more enjoyable for your throat. If you're looking to add uh, a little bit more uniqueness to your system and perhaps change the, the flavor or the way that it might smoke a little bit, you want to try going with one of these wooden straws. They're available in the maple, walnut, and cherry options as well. Very recently, uh, to help the market um, of concentrate users, they created these small concentrate trays. And essentially, this is a small stainless steel tray with a, a very fine screen on there. So this screen right here uh, absorbs your full melt oil or extract and you can place that into the tray and vaporize your oils through the Magic Crate launch box. If you have a concentrate that is not full melt and it's going to leave an ash behind, they come with this other small stainless steel one without the screen, so it's ideal for both types of concentrates. If you like to smoke a lot of your concentrates and you want to use the Magic Flight launch box, there's something that they just released onto the market which is the Power Adapter 2.0. This adapter allows the Magic Flight launch box to reach a predetermined temperature and it maintains it at that temperature. So it's very good for um, taking larger hits as well as vaporizing oils at slightly higher temperatures than the flight box might usually operate at. The adapter is super easy to use. It plugs into the wall and has an on-off switch on the back of the unit. It plugs into the hole where the battery normally goes for the flight box. And now, once it's plugged in, you can use the dial found here to adjust the temperature and it will maintain the flight box at that temperature, which is really, really great. So if you're someone who's looking to use it for concentrates, I highly recommend getting the power adapter 2.0. That is the Magic Plate launch box found at thedragon.ca. You can find all these accessories there as well. So I hope you uh, enjoyed today's video. Come back next week when we're taking a look at some American brand bombs. Take care guys, I'll see you guys next week.